Hey guys, Blake here from Mossy Effects on a Friday evening. Um, I'm redoing Tutorial Tuesday because I uploaded it Wednesday morning, so it technically wasn't even uploaded on Tuesday, so it didn't really matter. But I did the tutorial and I said basically about a thousand times. I didn't have enough information packed into it and I thought I could just make it real quick and short because it's not even a long process at all. Anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. Uh, we're going to be doing a spline wrap animation. So uh, it basically looks like a animated wire or whatever you want to animate. So let's get started. We're going to go into our output and change our resolution to whatever we want it to be. And we are going to start by drawing a spline. So these are all your spline tools. This is basically what the object or the wire is going to travel on, whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to do a freehand so we can get some curves in here. And a little S shape will work. Now we have our spline drawn. Make sure you do this in the front view or your spline could end up somewhere else that you don't want it to. But anyways, we have our spline drawn and we want to add a uh, spline wrap. Uh, it's under these selections and just go ahead and add that and it will come in here. And we need to drag the spline. If we choose spline wrap uh, I'll just call it SW because I don't like saying spline. But we're going to take under SW, under the object, we're going to drag our S into the spline uh, thing, uh, the selection, I guess you could call it. And that just made it programmable. Uh, the spline is now activated for the motion track. And we're going to go to since we're making a wire we're going to choose a cylinder and we need to rotate the cylinder for which way it's going like if it was going up we need to have the, the cylinder rotated where it was at the starting since it's going across we need to rotate it 90 degrees this way or just in that central direction but now we need to change the size of the cylinder because right now it's really big and doesn't really resemble a wire good wire size is about three to four in the radius that's what changes it so I'm just gonna use a three and you'll see that it has made this little wire kinda thickness kinda shape and uh, what we want to do now just drag the SW underneath the cylinder to make it a child of the cylinder and add some height segments because if you don't it's just going to be that straight line and you don't want that so just add some height segments until it forms and it looks pretty good and you'll see it made you a nice little wire um, if you want to animate this uh, you can uh, you just use these uh, little sliders here under the SW and to you need to keyframe individual sliders you don't want to use this button that is right here so let's to start it off we say we want it to come in just for example choose your starting frame and then have the two selected or whatever you want just mess around with these sliders if you want to and hold down control and click this little uh, button kind of circle thing that's next to the whatever you want to keyframe and it's going to turn red and you'll see that the keyframe has been selected and if we just go down to where we want it to end and slide it it's just like other basic keyframing and it'll turn yellow on the side so that means it's ready to be keyframed so go ahead and keyframe that again and it'll turn red and it'll give you this nice keyframes uh, if you do a letter make sure that you mess around with the rotation if you want it to come in a certain way or oh and also under the spline wrap you need to change the axis to I think negative Z or negative Y 
this all depends uh, which way it's coming but again that's if you're doing a letter like we did in my intro well that's basically it um, you'll see that it's gonna be animating and crossed my computer's not very powerful like I said in my other tutorials or maybe I never said it before but anyways uh, you can see that's still moving though of course and the wire has moved and that's pretty much it guys uh, thanks for watching drop a like drop a comment if you have any questions uh, message me make sure you have my name Blake in the the in the subject if so that me and James know who the message is going out to and again guys you can request a tutorial if you want it we'll do it on tutorial Tuesday and yeah please subscribe and all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys again on the next tutorial Tuesday I'll be doing a Throusy text animation so that would be pretty cool so you guys should definitely check that out alright guys I'll see you next week